I hope you're having a good day. This is Teddy and welcome to another episode of State of Survival. For this video, I am going to give you a sneak peek of the new event that is being uh, tested for an, the newer state or the newest state that is from State 607 onwards. And this is currently in beta testing. And there is a good news about this because the rewards includes in-game items and at the same time cash, uh, cash prices. So what is this event? I will be going you through in the next minutes of this video. But before that, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, guys. So this event is a mini Reserve League event that is run by the game team. And the first round is currently in beta test. That will start from January to late March. So the players from State uh, 607 or until 615 or uh, 616 will be able to register to the contest. And then once this is done, it will be the game team will be improving this and hopefully they are going to expand it to more states after future improvement. So for me as a player, this is a good thing that somehow the game finally uh, give out some of these events that will allow other players or players to be able to compete competitively with cash prices as well as in-game items so let's go through to that so who will the contest run so this will be players will be divided into four battle zones so remember in reservoir raid we are matched with different uh, alliances from different states in all servers for reservoir league we are matched with alliances within our battle zone and for this mini reservoir league it only runs within four battle zones that includes europe north america east asia middle east and then southeast asia and then the champion alliance from each battle zone will enter the semi-final matches and fight for the nation cup state one champion so this is how it works it is the competition can be divided into four stages that is the registration the points races semi-finals and in the finals so it's pretty similar to this uh, reservoir league that we have different battle zones but then in reservoir league the champion will be the winner of the battle zone for this one the winners are from four battle zone that is in europe north america east asia Middle East and then Southeast Asia will compete with each other to be the champion alliance. So the schedule will be tw January 25th to February, 20 uh, February 7th will be the registration stage. Qualified alliances should register on the registration page of this website. So this event is uh, also similar to the rules of Reserva Raid as well as Reserva League. For your alliance to be qualified to join this event, your alliance need to be at least top 20 in your state. It's pretty similar to the rest of the rate. So you need to be in top 20 alliance for you to be able to register. Second is you need to have at least 30 members. So the first rule is you need to be in top 20 alliance within your state. And the second one is you need to have 30 players at least so the schedule will be january 25th to february 7th registration stage february 13 and 14 will be the first round of the point race between a battle zone that is the north america southeast asia east asia middle east and then europe february 27 to 28 will be the second round of the points race and then march 1st Points race ends, the alliances rank top in each regional group that is North America, Europe, Southeast Asia, and Middle East, and then in East Asia will compete on the semifinals. March 13 and 14 will be the semifinals, and then the March 27th will be the final. So the states that are qualified to join their, this contest is the states that are made or opened from January 25th onwards or January 25th to January 31st. Who can register? Alliance leaders and R4 members, so similar to the reservoir raid that we are doing. 
After the registration did deadline, a list of alliances qualified for the game will be issued on the official community. So once you register, for example, you're in top 20, you have 30 members and you are qualified to play this game, all the lists will be posted on the official community, be it on Discord, I think, or in the Facebook or other social platforms of SOS. Registration gifts. So in case you registered and you are not qualified, you're still going to be able to get gifts and all qualified alliances will receive weekly gifts for participating in the raid. Gifts will be sent to all members via mail under the alliances knocked out. So it's pretty similar. So every time you are winning, you are going to get or you're still on the battle zone, you are going to get rewards. For the points race, each qualified alliance will attend to two rounds of reservoir raid and get points to the po for the point race. Alliance ranking based on the results and water differential will be updated here. So in this page. Preparation for, for the points race. Alliances that have already registered for the res reservoir raid nation cup must be in the top 20 top 20 of the state one day before the alliance the registration of re reservoir raid to participate so always remember that guys if you are going to participate make sure that you are in top 10 uh, not top 10 top 20 of the state one day before the registration ends and then like i said earlier at least 30 members are needed to win so alliances must register through the reservoir raid event and select the specific time to participate during the registration stage before the first round of the points race. Alliances will participate in the first round of the points race according to the time slots they select. So again, we are back to on how to register the reservoir raid. It's the same time slot. The ranking Alliances will be ranked based on their points. So the more uh, fights you've won or you're going to win, the more points you are going to get. The higher the points, the, the better or the more qualified you are for the next round. Alliances will be ranked based on their points and alliances with the same points will be ranked according to the water differential. So when you say water differential is the amount of water that your alliance obtained versus the amount of the water that your enemy collected. So whoever have the highest amount of water uh, collected will be the winner. So every time you win a raid, you get three points. If it is a tie or a draw, you get one point. And then if you are going to, go, uh, to not win it, you're not going to get any points at all. So for the points race event, the championship reward will give you 300 in-game rewards. Second place will give you $100 in-game rewards. And then the third one will give you $50 worth of in-game rewards. Always remember that this will be going to per person. So 300 in-game rewards for a champion of the points race. And you get $300 in-game items. So for the schedule, is February 8 and 9, registration for the first round of points, Reservoir Raid event in the game. So you go to the Reservoir Raid event uh, interface and that's where you are going to register. February 13 and 14, the first round of the points race. February 22nd and 23rd will be registration for the second round. February 27 and 28, the second round of the points race, and March 1st and 2nd, list of alliances for the next stage. So for the semifinals, champions of each regional group, that is the Europe, North America, East Asia, Southeast Asia, and Middle East is one, so that's like four battle zones in total, will compete in the final. If there is a tie, the alliance with the higher battle power wins. So the tiebreaker will be the power of your alliance. The schedule for semifinals will be March 8 and 9, registration for semifinals. March 13 will be semifinal of Champion A of North America versus Champion of Europe. And then March 14 will be semifinal of uh, B, 
champion of East Asia versus champion of South A East Asia and Middle East. The winners of the semifinals A and B would be the ones going to match in the final, of course. And again, if there is a tie, the, the, the alliance with the higher bottle power wins. Schedule March 22nd and 23rd will be the registration of the final. March 27th will be the champion of semifinal A versus champion of semifinal B. For the rewards, this is the best part, part that I'm telling you that it includes cash prizes as well as in-game reward items. So for the champion, you will get 10,000 cash prize, champion trophy, and 20,000 in-game rewards. For the second placer, you will get 5,000 cash prize, 10,000 in-game rewards. The third one will get 3,000 cash prize, 6,000 in-game rewards. And then the fourth place will get 2,000 cash prize, 3,000 in-game rewards. So for the rewards for the point raise that I already uh, said earlier, that is a third 300 in-game rewards, 100, and then the third one will get 50. For the distribution of the rewards, the cash prize will be sent to the members according to the distribution mechanism set by your alliance leaders. The alliance leaders can receive at most 30%. All our force can receive at most 25% in total. The rest will be distributed equally to other alliance members. The specific distribution mechanism is set by the alliance leader. And then, of course, the in-game rewards will be sent to all members via mail. I'm not really sure if all are they going to distribute the cash prices, but later on, maybe the game or the game team is going to explain that to the players. So the rest of this are just the tips of the event. But like I said earlier, just a disclaimer that this is currently in beta test. And once the beta testing is done, the game team will improve the contest and expand this to more states. So I think this will give more um, time or more effort or this will give players some hint of the light to continue playing. Looking forward to this one. We will see how it's going to work after March 27th or after they will have the first champion. I will also be going to post a guide for this one on my website as well as the Colab website and I will be posting it on the Colab server so that you guys can see on how this thing works. So at the moment, I am currently at Top 90 Alliance and I will try to join Top 20 so that I can give you a live stream on how this thing works. I might spend a little on this one for me to be able to qualify because it seems like uh, this is going to be real comp competitive, so I will try my best if I to spend a little, at least get at least get myself to at least HQ sixteen or twenty before the registration ends. Regardless, guys, I'm just going to give you an update once I started playing in this state. All right, but before I go, I'm just going to show you the video, and see you in my next videos, guys. Bye. Everyone, move as one, attack together. We're not going to make it! 